Let me invite uh, Professor Grzegorz Nawrot from the Silesian University of Technology in Gliwice. Uh, and he, the title of his um, paper, his presentation is Home, Dwelling, Building, City, Architectonics. Good morning, everyone. I'm very grateful to uh, the esteemed organizers for their invitation, for uh, including me in this session. At one of the latest conferences devoted to defining architectural space, when we spoke about myths in architecture, I spoke about durability of an architectural object. A city is a certain uh, architectural object, uh, and I will refer to that in my today's uh, paper. So I'll be speaking about permanence or durability of an architectural object. So perhaps let me start with a question to which an answer can be an, can be obvious or seems obvious. A city does not exist without its inhabitants. For whom is the city? The inhabitants are its content and for them it is built. Therefore, its fundamental character is defined by the interaction between the inhabitants and the nature of the work. The way of life is related to the place of dwelling. This is also the consequence of the location and nature of the work. Hence, the conclusion is that by changing the nature of the inhabitants' relationship, we change the city. This, so it is particularly important nowadays when we have that major impact of digital and IT technologies and communication. And uh, that communication emanates through the structure of space. So a city can be considered on many levels or from different angles, but it still remains a system. And then we have life organisms. So cities as life organisms they live, uh, get ill, and die. Cities die in many ways or in multiple occasions, and uh, the consequence of the death of the content is the death of the matter. Replacement of the matter or the content by new content or matter is a certain form of uh, durability. Um, um, so the death of a city uh, in its current uh, definition occurs in other areas too. So it results from a certain transgression. The initial compact uh, city uh, going th after going through that stage of um, matter dispersion becomes a hybrid city. And that is the result of the operation of um, the ITC and digital technologies. Space is ex expands by adding certain areas that have not been used so far. And the relationships uh, shaped by this technology, material elements, tangible elements, the, which are the emanation of uh, transformed activities of uh, the residents uh, come here. So that was always the case. Certain objects would disappear, certain professions would disappear. All objects were subject to transgression. But nowadays we have the whole system which is transformed and rebuilt so as a result of um, the application of digital ICT technologies. So the image of a city changes, technologies are determined by uh, our way of life. So similarly to uh, spots and places described before, uh, there is this dispersed uh, virtual non-city. It covers um, uh, larger and larger areas of immaterial material cities and technologies depend, determine the lifestyle. So therefore, a seemingly sim simple and easy answer to that question that I asked at the beginning of this lecture is not that obvious anymore. 
So it's about potential interpretation of perception. So that formats uh, different uh, areas of our life. Uh, uh, then when we have different definitions, we use different criteria for assessment, important and non-important features. Uh, features uh, could be uh, cities could be named, but it's more important to uh, um, to de define them. To słowa przy, y, przywoływanego wczoraj. Yesterday. Italo Calvino was quoted several times. And let me say that the adoption of an ambiguous idea which determines actions results, therefore, in the designation of the key criteria expressing it and omission of marginalization of others, was well, possible to try the name cities, but it's more difficult to define them. So we have Montalcino, Siena, uh, and then Assis uh, made of stone, the city of Warsaw, then American cities like San Francisco and Atlanta, Georgia, Mumbai, in India, and then Las Vegas and Dallas. San Jose, San Jose and small Greek uh, Skopelos on, an, on a Greek island, Chiang and Sao Paulo made of uh, concrete. Each city will be interpreted separately. They can be interpreted from a viewpoint of an urban planner, architect, sociologist, psychologist, historian, cultural scientist, archaeologist, geographer, physician, and biologist. So the interpretation would vary. What is important is the description of a city and its name that comes with the description. So the name, it's uh, the coating or the framing. So, so this vectoral structure for opening the space uh, anticipated for a house is uh, uh, one of the points here. So months and Romer's theory can be referred here. So a house open within the space of a house and relating to Albertis uh, to the larger space of the city. So we have that uh, internal and non-internal um, dwelling. So expansion of the intimate interior of a dwelling is understood as a constellation and a set of mutual relations. So we have a place to sleep and the third place uh, and uh, reference uh, to ex inter exterior. So it prompts us to build uh, dispersed houses. Functions of a compact house are transferred to the space of a large city. If we interpret a home as uh, or a house as this home concept, when we move that home concept outside that intimate zone, no longer ensure intimacy. According to Plato, everything that we see and perceive uh, with our senses is uh, um, an imperfect uh, uh, imagination of the world of the ideas. But then in the world of the ideas, everything is permanent and never changes. So it's like a sensory world, which is dependent on its prototype. Uh, so formatting, so this is the, perma the permanent uh, system. It depends on um, the prototype, the world of ideas, the material of which is uh, of which it is made, and the action of the builders. And architectural matter, in turn, is a kind of reflected image of an area, a format and interpretation, an illusion on a platonic screen of a cave. Formatting this uh, structure of a space is constructing a system. Architectonics it involves constructing everything on several levels of design. 
So uh, it's above the, the architecture and uh, the architectonics. Uh, and uh, then we have a structure uh, built on multi layers by using uh, various immaterial and tangible and immaterial matters. Uh, so, and the concepts, urban planning uh, concepts, are its immaterial emanations, and but also to some um, extent may reflect its image adequately on the screen of the uh, platonic uh, cave, which I mentioned. That system can be constructed and also perceived in multiple ways. And so in uh, 1159, John of Salisbury uh, compared um, the city to a human body. Uh, so the hands and feet of the city were, according to Salisbury, the houses. 400 years after John uh, of Salisbury, uh, we, uh, the city of Zamość in Poland was built, which was founded um, with uh, the assumption that the castle was the head and uh, the market square, the Zamoyski Academy and the Roman Catholic Cathedral were uh, stomach, heart, and soul. So we have uh, these aspects, integrity with uh, the nature, uh, animated, animate, and inanimate, and then we have similarity to the structure of living organisms. The latter stream identifies lightning by superficial interpretation. It is mentioned by Virtuvius Villard de Ronecourt and Giorgio Vasari. And then we have the second narrow interpretation by Hugo Hering, Alva Alto, and Cass Osterhuis. Of the classical categories classified as indisputable truth, I believe that um, uh, this strength or durability is uh, the key thing because it indicates where uh, when there is life and when the city dies. Uh, so a city can be also strong or permanent in a symbolic or metamorphic uh, way. The key concept is uh, the name, the connotation of a name and um, the um, concept. So we have Petra and Palmyra, two dead cities of the Middle East, different symbols of passing carry, different interpretation of dying. Uh, dying. These are two different uh, systems. Petra organically and integrally connected with animate and inanimate uh, nature is a certain um, is a certain uh, cemetery and Palmyra is uh, succumbed to and um, and uh, based on the territorial uh, concept uh, uh, suddenly annihilated uh, Petra used. Uh, was built on the route from India to Egypt and from Arabia to Syria. And uh, six, uh, in the 6th century BC, the Nabataeans recaptured it from the occupying Edomites and defended its independence on several occasions against the Ptolemy, Ptolemies uh, uh, and Pompey and Octavian Augustus. And uh, Petra was not only related to, to military uh, operations. So, for example, one of uh, the um, uh, Pompey's, uh, Pompey's questers received a huge bribe. Um, it lasted metaphorically until uh, 363 when it was finally destroyed by an earthquake. And it's a dead place on the map. Palmyra is an example of metaphorical existence ending in a non metaphorical sudden death. So it was already mentioned in the Old Testament and on the Silk Route, uh, with its first uh, traces appearing in the Neolithic, uh, um, first inhibited by the Arameans, Arabs, and Romans, and underwent a permanent expansion as a result of a new content and new functions uh, emanating in, new ar uh, in the form of new architectural objects. In, during the Roman times, uh, it found itself on the border between the Roman Empire 
and the Parthian state received some colonies during uh, by the Emperor Cadrian, rebelous uh, and, uh, and the rebel queen Zenobia made uh, made it the capital of her empire. Then it was reconquered by uh, Rome and became the seat of a garrison at a divisionary, destroyed by the Arabs in 744 and by an earthquake. It continued continued to operate as a settlement. In the 20th century, it was an archaeological center. In 2015 and 2016. Um, um, these uh, historical monuments were blown up by the ISIS militants. So we have this link uh, in a model system where, according to Abraham Moles and Elizabeth Romer, humans being uh, human beings and the types of their activities are one element subordinated to the overall structure of the whole accessible world. So Jean Baudrillard wrote 800 years ago as a certain epitaph of entropy, which uh, initiated destruction, repeatedly dying to death it is a dead city. Now, a few words of uh, summary. A metamorphical continuation of a city is related to the logics of erosion. So it's about building something in parallel, one something which operates uh, continues. So city, a city is built by common elements of reality. It is uh, not entirely a formal phenomenon, but also a structural phenomenon. It interferes with the structure, which changes the formal structure, which is its emanation. The form of the structure in the face of its widespread replication is secondary. So we have the initial concept, initial view, and the potential beauty. As a result, the space of the city in a longer um, uh, term horizon is not not permanent, it's a symbolic sense, and Palmyra would be a great example from its inception to its death. Thank you.